Hi folks, welcome to Barb Makes Things. Today I get five sides on the dodecahedron. Barb Makes Things! I'd learned from putting on the first two sides that I'd need three points of contact for the drums. And it would be easiest to put two of them at fixed distance on the same side, with the third somewhere across from them. I was putting this together at Maker Fair, so I had some limitations. I'd cut some of the things I would need in advance, like interior angle blocks to mount the drums to, made from leftover scraps of the frame build. I also cut some threaded rods, intentionally way too long. Because too long just means it sticks out weirdly into the center. Too short means it won't hold the drum. I decided to err on the side of long till I could cut them down. I marked and drilled two holes four inches apart. I got a special bit to help put in the threaded inserts. And oh my gosh, it like makes all the difference in the world. The rods needed to be filed a bit because that was something that could be done on site with portable tools. Of course, once I put the rods in, I could see that they weren't completely parallel. I am thinking that a jig would be useful for this, so I'm going to make one. In theory, it should have made things a little more uniform. But it didn't, really. That's alright, they're close enough. I'll make it work. I glued the double bolt interior angle blocks inside the frame. Then I drilled matching holes into my drum shells. I placed nuts on the threaded rods just outside the drum shell and just inside to get it to stay in place. Ultimately, I'll probably use some Loctite, but these may move. I'm not even sure what all the sides of the dodecahedron will be yet. For the third bolt blocks, it was easier to attach them once the drum was in place. And like I said, I didn't want to go permanent on it anyway. So I just zip tied them on. With a rainbow of mini zip ties, of course. Fitting the hexagon drum into the pentagon opening was a little more difficult. I ultimately did some diagonal zip tying at the bottom vertex for the third bolt block of this drum. The first version drum badly needs a hardware upgrade, so that'll be coming soon. You may have noticed this already. I'm gonna be changing my posting schedule to every other week. I have a whole lot on my plate between work and the channel and crash space and D&D &D and sleep in theory. And this channel is a one woman operation. So having a video every week means a lot of my time goes into editing. Not only does an extra week between videos give me a little extra sleep and help preserve my sanity, it also gives me more time to actually be making these things that I want to show you. Less edit time, more build time. So we're gonna give that a shot. 
I may jump around a little bit and show some of the work I've done on my octopus robot familiar and the light tube project because I have been working on those slowly. I can't seem to stick to just one project but at least I'm making progress on them because they're fun. If you like this video, share it with a friend. If you didn't, share it with an enemy. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Make sure to take a look at some of my other builds and how to's. There are a lot of them. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you click the little bell, you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. If you'd like to get videos a little early and support my channel, you can visit my Patreon page. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.